Hey yo everyone, today I am having KHF I'm having chicken fillet burger, my favourite And then some wings and some chips It's a meal And as you all, got, as you all know that KHF is my favourite And even, I like spice up too But if you person who likes spice up Then I would recommend you try out KHF Because their food are best It's better than um, spice up to be fair Okay, so today's story is a story of Sarika. Sarika is a single woman staying alone in Mumbai working at a travel agency. She meets Karan by chance who apparently is smitten by her. Though she resists his advances at first, she eventually gives in to his charms and lives in with him. Life is good and one day Karan requests Sarika to host one of his friends for a few hours that he will be gone. Sarika agrees and Karan's friend turns in with a suitcase at Sarika's places and goes out. It's not until the evening news she sees the same guy was gunned down by police for being a wanted criminal. Sarika is shocked and calls Karan who tells her to get rid of his friend's suitcase that he had left at Sarika's place. Sarika takes the suitcase and is stepping out when suddenly she is intercepted by cops who arrest her as Karan's criminal friend was at her place. Karan requests her to speak to his lawyer Kamlesh and not to take his name anywhere in this investigation. The attorney advises her to confess the crime, convincing her that since she has a clean record and no prior conviction, the judge will accept her mistake as first time and let her go. After being convinced that the judge will give her a light sentence and might even set her free for a corporation, Sarika complies. But the judge sentences her to seven years hard labor without parole. Sarika then realizes that Karan and his attorney had tricked her. Karan is an associate to the underworld and that he had her frame to keep police eyes away from him. This realization is soon followed by the death of her father, the ongoing ordeal of prison life and hatred towards Karan. An elder inmate, Pramila, who has contacts outside the prison, decides to help her. Sarika undergoes a complete change of appearance. Sarika changes from inside and outside, which begins with her getting rid of her fear of rats. She beats up an abusive inmate, Gomati, who constantly bullies her. She plans an uh, audition escape from prison in which she succeeds along with a few inmates. Karan is notified about her escape by Kamlesh. Karan gives no further thought to it. ACB Multi sets out to find Sarika after she escapes from prison. Sarika first confronts Tony Martur, killing him after learning Karan's whereabouts. Sarika learns that Karan is working for a gangster, Abe. He has many illegal operations under his garb and is in Delhi. Sarika finds Karan in Delhi with his new girlfriend. She takes a room right opposite to Karan so that she can keep an eye out when he leaves and comes from his suit. She trails him day and night without Karan being suspicious. ACB Multi tracks Sarika when she mistakenly makes a phone call to her mother from a prepaid sim in Delhi. Karan, meantime, is in trouble with a local gangster Sanjeev for not laundering money on time. He is picked up from a nightclub by Sanjeev's henchman and called to his place where he is threatened to clear his dues ASAP or fight, face dire consequences. The whole exchange is witnessed by Sarika secretly as soon as Karan leaves, from the, uh, leaves the room Sanjeev is found killed and the whole suspicion falls on Karan. Karan is naturally suspected of murdering Sanjeev. Karan and his girlfriend are attacked in the hotel that leaves his new girlfriend and few henchmen dead. He escapes just in time before being caught by ACP Multi, who reaches his hotel suit in pursuit of Sarika. Karan, who is bewildered at Sanjeev's death and his near shave with death, wonders if Sanjeev was bumped off by a rival gang. Meanwhile, Sarika pretends to run into him. She pretends to have sympathy for him, saying that she still has not seen through his game. Karan decides to play with her for some time. Karan confronts 
a man whom he suspects to be a traitor, but he believes that somebody else could have sneaked in after Karen went out before the man can say anything. Karen kills him too. Sarika is amused as Karen gets entangled in a cat and mouse game. Steals money from Karen's boss, for which Karen is again made a patsy. However, Karen soon realizes the plot after he conforms and assaults her. She shocks him by telling him that she has burnt the money. Karen takes her to his boss and makes her confess at gunpoint, but she feigns ignorance and claims that Karen made her say so. As Karen is attacked by his boss's goons, he breaks into a fight. Just then, the ACP enters the police with the police. In a shootout, the ACB succeeds in killing Karen's boss. The gang is either killed or apprehended. While the ACB herself gets short, shot, Karen succeeds in escaping. His success is short-lived. Suddenly, Sarika emerges from his back and holds him at gunpoint and makes him drive to a secluded spot. After knocking him down out, she chains him in a cabin invested with rats. As Karen regained consciousness, Sarika tells him how she used to be scared of rats and she chose this spot because she wanted him to go through the same pain and suffering that she went through while she was in prison. Karen is baffled at her talk, but she leaves him in the cabin with light off from a flash light pointing towards him. Karen screams but nobody hears as he is in a secluded place. Soon the flashlight goes out and Karen loses strength. A pack of rats attack and kill him brutally. Karen dies a long and painful death. With her mission of exacting revenge from Karen accomplished, Sarika eventually surrenders to the police, turning in the bag of money that she stole from Karen's boss to the ACP. Sarika looking at mates in a prison and lives as if she finds her life purpose i hope you guys enjoyed the story of sarika this is again a true story and it happened in india and i shall be me um, i shall be telling you guys more stories if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and um if you if you're a mukbang watcher then definitely watch my other mukbang videos if you're a story time lover then definitely watch my other story time videos thank you very much for watching my video and i will see you in my next one take care and have a nice life and um do you know what be positive and you know what spread positivity and i'll see you in my next one bye